What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to the Asian Mind Show. Uh, today, we got a mother trucker here, man. I'm out here at the Chandler, Arizona Loves, and one of our guys spotted me out. So, let's see what it's about. What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to the Asian Mind Show. They're going to get a lot of helpful tips from what you just said. He has mad experience. We're going to give you insight from people that are currently working the business and give you information that you need to get you where you need to go in trucking. So all drivers are required to have a train certification, which they pay for. Nice. And there's... Remember, trucking recruiters' job is to get you to work for their company. My job is to give you the information you need to find the right company that works for you. That's it. And if they say Demetrius, does it help them? Does it help nothing? So wait up, you're giving these keys just to give these keys, man? Give it away, brother. Hey, I hope it helps somebody else. Thank you so much. The Asian Mind Show appreciates you. You have a blessed day, sir. You too. What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. If you're new to trucking, consider subscribing because on this channel, we're going to give you the tools to get you to the next level. Today, we are with a very special guest. I'm out here in Chandler, Arizona at the Loves. You know, good thing I'm wearing the shirt because those Asians are starting to look alike. <laughs> uh, my man James here, man, he, he sought me out. He saw me, and you know what? He's willing to help other mother truckers out there, man. So he's a mother trucker himself. So I might hand him in the mic. And then he's going to give us a little info about what company he works for, maybe how long he's been doing this, and basically information he wish he would have had. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. All right. Um, with um, System Transport, they're based out of uh, Spokane, Washington. And um, I've been trucking eight months now. And um, they're a good company to get started with, especially if you want a flatbed. Um, coming out the gate, they start you off at 43 cents a mile. You got a stop pay, tarp pay. Um, then they have different options, whether you want to do OTR, you want to be regional, you want to do a maxi fleet, which is heavy haul, but you have to be based in the states of Washington or um, Oregon for that fleet. And they also have uh, our parent companies where you could do reefer also. But um, they're a pretty good company to start with. Um, they keep you running. Did they train you, James, or who trained you? What school did you go to? Um, the route I went to get my CDL, I went through a community college. Wow. Yes. Okay. So now you're giving, hey, now you're giving the ticket. Yeah. So. It's, it's best to go through a community college. That way, you can go to any company you want to based, instead of being locked into a contract. So. What community college? How, I went to. community college got this, or how do you fight a community college? that might have something like this? Uh, you have to do your research. That's the big thing about trucking. Do your research before you sign anything. Um, what I did was I looked online and I seen what colleges in Georgia offer CDL training. So in the state of Georgia, they also have um, the HOPE grant. So you can use the HOPE grant if you qualify and it cuts most of your costs down. Talk about this. So and how the, do you qualify for a HOPE grant? Basically, you qualify if you never went to uh, a four-year college and um and it based on how much you are making at the time so if you're working like a part-time job and you're not making that much then you can qualify for it too so how I went about it was that I went down to the school and I seen if I qualify and then I qualify for the Hope grant and the cost of the CDL program is fifteen hundred dollars compared to what most people paying four or five thousand wow, dollars coming out of school some money, man. yes so what community college was that in georgia georgia piedmont uh georgia piedmont technical college so i don't know if you know this james but one of the biggest cities or states out there the biggest state for trucking is actually georgia so you just helped out a lot of people by giving them the keys to that man yes state of georgia um they have a program also if you're unemployed you can go down to the unemployment office and they um because there was somebody i was in class with that um they had um got their um cdl through the unemployment office and they paid for their um all the full cost of it so in the state of georgia there's if you want to get your cdl there's no excuse not to hey so how did you find a company like systems uh i was doing my research because i live out here on the west coast now so i was basically it was between them and another company that also has a blue truck <laughs> but i was seeing <laughs> yeah but the other company was uh they do most of their runs um east of i-35 
and um, they're based primarily on the West Coast, but they do run East Coast. So I went with them since it would be easier for me getting home since I stay in Las Vegas. Oh, cool, cool. So how many days a week do you get home? You know what I'm saying? What's that home time look like? Home time is, is standard. It's uh, one day for seven days out, but they are flexible. They do work with you. Say if you got an appointment that you're trying to get to, they will get you there. Really? Really? Yes. Now, um, with you having only eight months experience, how did they teach you flatbed? Let's walk outside real quick. Let's look okay. at this real quick. Check this out. Look at my man. Like a thing, man. Let's the company. Hey, this is not a paid promotion. This is just another man that watches us on the Asian My Show. There's a mother trucker that wants to help people out. So systems, transport. How do they find this company? Do they jump online? Where do they go? Uh, I went online and I looked at um, different companies that uh, offer flatbed out of Las Vegas for uh, new guys. So it was between them and two other companies. So I narrowed it down. And what also helped, I had a buddy that went to the company before I did. So basically he swayed me to yeah, come yeah, on yeah. over. So he's saying it's legit. Yes. Yeah, so so in the eight months, how long does it take for them to train you to get to that level that you need to get at to be able to do something like this? Okay, if you don't have any experience, you go out five weeks with a trainer and they teach you everything on uh, flatbed, different types of load. But a lot of stuff, like some of the loads you will not learn in the training. So the best thing to do is watch older guys. I always ask older guys. That's the biggest thing in trucking. Ask questions. That way, you'll learn how to do it and watch how other flatbedders do it. That's the biggest thing with flatbedding. Oh, cool. It's make. It's just making sure that the load is secure. So let's get to it, man. Let's talk about the money and the benefits, because that's what everybody want to know. The money and the benefits. Is the money cool? Is the benefits right? Uh, Tell me what you feel for someone that's freshly new. Uh, for somebody that's freshly new, the money is good. Uh, with this company, it's basically your money depends on how you manage your clock and can you run. If you can manage your clock and you run and you getting your lows there on time, you're going to make money. Really? What are we grossing and what are we netting around? Uh, net this week, I took home 1160 1160 1160 net. As a new driver? As a new driver. Hey! That's real talk right there. Yeah. Okay, and so um, since you're still new, what kind of paychecks are you going to be looking at in the future? Uh, well, I got I got a current load that right now is 10 stops, and it takes me all the way through Florida. So that one should put me around about 1600 So every so each one is different? Each one is different. It varies. So you're making over 60 Easily. Oh, you just got hey, <laughs> Look at this, yeah, it's not, it's Easily. Not. <laughs> he went from unemployed, no job, using hope programs, to I'm making money easily. easily. So let's talk the truth right here. Okay. So trucking, a lot of people want to talk down about it. Did it change your life? What, it, what, what, what can you tell the people out here, all these mother truckers out here that maybe don't have education, mm. that maybe didn't get a start? Maybe they have family problems. People are in different situations. Some start in the streets. Who knows? Not everybody could just go to college and get this suit and tie job. Right. But before trucking, where were you? Uh, and what did trucking do for you now? Uh, before trucking, I was working. I was doing an apprenticeship, an uh, electrician apprenticeship. I always wanted to do trucking, but I was told I couldn't do trucking. Really? Because I'm an insulin-dependent diabetic, so I had to go through the process of getting a waiver to even drive trucks. Wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. So let's talk about that. So people that are new have to get a medical card. I thought if you were diabetic, you can't even be a truck driver. This is That's a myth. That's a myth. Let's I can show I can show man. you the paperwork. Let so, me show you the paperwork. Really? Yeah. So if you're diabetic, you still can be a trucker? Yes, if you're insulin dependent, diabetic, insulin dependent. you still can be a trucker. Let's see this paperwork, man. I don't believe you, James. Hmm. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Just look, man. We're not gonna jump in my man's cab too much. Something bad happened the last time I went in the truck with the man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you in the office? Hey, this company treat you right. Yeah. They give you everything. Nah, they don't give me everything. <laughs> but this is the paperwork right here. Okay, so without getting into his information too much, it doesn't have anything socials or anything, right? No, no social. Okay, anything, but so Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration diabetes. So, uh, ex oh, exemption. Yeah. So basically, as long as you are, what was the, what was the word? So if you're diabetic, but what kind? As you insulin dependent, you still can drive a truck. Wow. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. 
Hey, I heard that, man. So, at the end of the day, anything else you want to leave people with, man? Uh, if you ent if you interested in trucking, go for it. I love it. Go for it. I said I wanna welcome you. I said I wanna welcome you. I wanna welcome you to the Asian my show. Da 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 da. Chilling on me with nothing to do but think about the things on the Asian my show. It's all good. It's hey. all clean. If you really know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Asian my show. I said I wanna <laughs> welcome you. I wanna welcome you. I wanna welcome you to the Asian Mind Show. I wanna welcome you. And you and you and you and you too. And you to the Asian Mind Show. That was amazing. That's cool, brother. Thank you so much.